only on five. Something cooking inside a local home put a neighborhood in danger. A lot of danger. A combination of chemicals, gases, and bottles created a huge meth lab. These bottles, these each of these 105 or 106 bottles are little miniature bombs that could catch fire at any time. And here's what's even more scary. Akron police took three children from inside that Congo Street home, and tonight their parents are in jail. Bob Jones, live with more details about the bus. Where are those kids tonight, Bob? Well, I'm told they will be checked out at Akron Children's Hospital, but for now, they are in the custody of Children's Services and staying with relatives. Neighbors tell me they were very concerned and surprised when they saw the evidence piled up on this driveway. The size of the bust also shocked veteran cops. It's very scary. It's very scary. Betty Hirschman couldn't believe what police pulled from her neighbor's home. Just look at the pictures. More than 100 so-called one-pot bottles, dozens of acid gas generators, and meth ingredients like butane, lithium batteries, and a slew of Sudafed. All of it laid out on the driveway. The police officer told me to come over and look. He said, you won't believe what was what was in this house, he said, everything would have blew up. Lieutenant Brian Simcox told me an anonymous tip led them inside the home Saturday afternoon. They found two actively cooking meth labs and more disturbing, three children, ages eight, five, and one. I feel sorry for the children. The investigation revealed meth may have been cooked daily over the last six months. The house was just a giant meth lab. Simcox explained the chemicals put the health of the kids at risk and the possibility of an explosion placed neighbors in harm's way. Meth is a dangerous and highly addictive drug, and Akron police say they've never seen a lab of this size. With that many bottles and with that much acid, it was, it was the biggest that we'd seen in terms of sheer numbers. The kids' parents Amanda Wilcox and Jeffrey Fowler arrested on multiple drug and child endangering charges. The couple was not on the police radar before the bust. Neighbors felt activity at the home seemed suspicious, but never imagined all this. I didn't think that something this big could be in this, this neighborhood. And neighbors out here asked me to find out what becomes of this house now. Police tell me there is no law on the books to condemn it or board it up, so when and if the couple gets out of jail, they can move back in. But they will receive a $1,200 cleanup bill from the Akron Police Department. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. And the news of this bus comes as our state gets money to help fight the rise of meth. BCI will use the $1.3 million grant to investigate the making and distribution of the drug.